Hello guys. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have done with the modeling of this gas station. So let's continue with it. So we have uh, this references over here. So let's go with the references. So let's uh, go on to this view over here and let's take a line tool. Let's take a line tool and just put it in the right place over here. So as you see over here, we will take one more reference, we'll take one more reference. Okay, so as you can see the pipe is totally bent, so we'll go into it, right click on it and refine. and just right click on it and smoothen it let's push this over here we'll just push it over here so select this and let's give a bit of fillet over here a bit not much oops So I'm adding a fillet to it and let's go up over here enabling viewport and increase its thickness so if you don't need much thickness so you can again go into this select this two vertices and again give a fill it you can just give a bit of fill it to it so if you go with the reference over here then you will see we need uh, I'll select this I'll save this let's go over here take this insert it and with the reference what I am going to do over here is like I am going to push this inside so before doing this we are going to put one uh, swift loop over here so let's select this insert it a bit that's it and you can extrude it inside that's it all right so from the side view you need to create this so that can be easily created using a box or line also so let's take a line and let's uh, create it So you can just, you know, make this. Push this over here. You can just scale it. Push it up. So select this over here and give a modifier called extrude so I'm going to give a extrude modifier I'm sorry select this line and give a extrude modifier that's it 
So if you see properly, this is going to go inside in this way. And you are going to copy this over here. So select this both, convert to poly, and you are going to attach this. Select this and this, and say insert. And you can just uh, bridge this stuff. That's it. So as you see over here, you can just uh, save it like this. And this is like, you know, connecting this stuff. So you can easily create this using a line tool. So you can just drag this till here. And you can go into it, enable in viewport. So if you think this is uh, too big, you can just delete this stuff. And if you want to use a cylinder stuff, so take a cylinder. So let's put it in this way over here. So you can reduce its segments, if you want some height segments you can keep it. So convert to editable poly, alt and q, select this, insert it, up it and just, just extrude it, extrude it in this way. No form of this pipe. So select this all, push this up, select this R and scale it in this way. So as you end isolate this stuff like this. Can just push this up. So you can just insert it. And you can just extrude it down. And push it up. So Again, go into this, select this and this, select this and this, and this and this. You can just extrude it down a bit, not much. And you can use some swift loop over here, here, here and here and just bridge it. So you can use this edge, use this edge and chamfer it and just chamfer this stuff, that's it, alright. So you can just uh, end isolate this stuff over here. So you can just push this a bit straight.
So you can just push this like this more closer to it. Scale this stuff, push this down, select this, take the line, push this line up, right click on it, refine, take a refine, again push this and you can just hold it in this particular way. So if you want some more details, you can put some details if you want over here, no problem. So you can go into this and scale it. Okay, so let's say we have five. So as you see over here, we have uh, just generated this stuff over here. So now this is going to work uh, in the same way. On the other hand, also. So let's uh, mirror it, copy it, you can uh, mirror it in the this direction, push it till here as we have done for this the same way. All right, so we are going to do the same thing over here. And just push it. Inside. So we'll do this first. So select this, use a swift loop over here. Go into this insert it and extrude it inside that's it so you can just push it over here push this over here Just mirror this stuff so we can easily mirror it wherever you want to, you know, mirror it. You can easily mirror it now. Whatever excess you want, you just take it this way. like this on top of it better so now uh, this whole stuff we are going to copy this so let's not uh, copy all this not this not all of this but this <coughs> all of these elements we are going to make a copy of all of these elements so 
let's push it a bit more further so select this all so select this push it over here subtract all of this and let's push it over here and this is okay. all right so let's delete this delete this select this let's go to the top view and let's duplicate this one over here and one more all right so select this and this shift and drag and make a copy all right so we have just made a copy of this Okay, and we are going to duplicate this whole stuff, excluding all of this. Okay, so After you're done, let's go to the top view, press shift and drag, make a copy, shift and drag and make a copy of it. All right. So let's save your file. So we have made the copy of all of this. So let's push this till here and also uh, this stuff push it a bit more further so let's open the other reference So let's take a bigger rectangle and convert to editable spline. So select the rectangle, I'm sorry, uh, the rectangle, editable spline, select all of four of this and give a fillet. and give extrude over here that's it all right so once you're given this stuff let's take a box let's go to the top view and create a box over here that's it all right so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial Thanks for watching this tutorial.